Yes, everyone, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, Mark the Movie Man, Final Cut. Let's get rolling today. Two more shorts we're going to cover today that were at the film festival up in Madison, Wisconsin. And today, the first one is called Third Degree. Now, if ever there was an example of a low-budget cinema, on what you can do with the minimalistic uh, budget, this is definitely one of those films. Third Degree basically starts with a girl who is strapped to a chair and doesn't know where she is and barely remembers who she is. And she has a faceless interrogator, someone who we never quite see the face, who asks her a number of questions to try to get her to remember just how uh, useless <laughs> she really is. And we see the things unfold from there. Now, uh, what I got me about this film was the performance of Beth, played by uh, Joe Elswick. She did a phenomenal job as she it's pretty much a one-man show while you do have the other actor in, in her playing the interrogator it's really all about her and her performance and she plays the the fierce angry scared uh, yet confused character very well it comes across the screen uh, and she does excellent with it uh, you know some of the the questions and the dialogue the way the script went uh, you know, it took a little while to get the gist of what they were going for, which I understand. You don't need it spelled out right away, but it took a little longer than I think. Uh, and maybe I'm just slow like that. I don't know. But uh, about that's the only thing that really kind of got me was, was a bit of the script with the, the dialogue, uh, trying to get a handle of exactly where they were trying to go with the film. But other than that, the performance of Beth, uh, the character Beth, was great. And it's fun to watch and see just what you can do with just a room and a chair and one well performing actor. So uh, that's the third degree. Now we also have Predator Prey, which is a bit of an uncomfortable film. It deals with the subject of pedophilia and a camp where there is this predator, if you will, and uh, he played by Quentin McCouston, uh very well, in fact, who, who kind of is, uh, you know, um, making moves on a younger girl at the camp. And this was a bit of an uncomfortable subject matter, which horror should be. It should be a bit uncomfortable. I give total props for this, uh, uh, the little girl who plays in this, uh, Marissa uh, Perini. She does fantastic in this role uh, that I'm sure may have even made her a bit uncomfortable as far as the subject matter. And it does have a rather happy ending. Though the subject matter, and it starts off very creepy and uncomfortable, at least there is a payoff at the end. So which makes it definitely worth a watch, okay? So that's Predator Prey, brought to us by writer-director Kent Kitzman, and it deals with a subject that makes people very uncomfortable, but a good horror film should make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, but at least at the end, give you a payoff to make you go, Whew, glad it went there and not where I was uh, thinking it was gonna go. So check those two shorts out, and until next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff.